Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. Yo, we in? We're in. Broad daylight. Finally. All right. Crowded there street. we go. Now I've seen everything. Should have went with this one from the first place, but hey, whatever. It is what it is. Mouse isn't going to the other screen. The game is in. Is working. So, let's uh, see what we have here. Nothing on his hand, I guess. Layaway voucher. See Galetta. Layaway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Yes, it's a dead person. Anything else? I don't see anything else. Remember this. FN Browning, serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. Officer, please tell me what's going on. Excuse me, officer. I won't. Uh, can I can I help you, sir? I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Eyewitness account. You evidence. Uh, okay. Witness details are entered on the left. 27. Shoe store clerk or eyewitness to murder of Gage. Okay. You think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. Doubt. Instant I was doubt. In store She's lying. Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> First three to accuse the witness of lying. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Uh, select layaway voucher as evidence. Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh. I, I never would have got it. You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder. <laughs> you little day. fool. Mr. Kalu. <laughs> Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in 
Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Oof. Hospital murder suspects. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. And the witness is lying, but you lack proof, so like doubt. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. <laughs> <laughs> How many shots did you hear, Miss? Yeah, what's going on, it's Pretoria? Difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were Possible so loud. Possible Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> Think the witness is telling the truth. It's like truth. I'm so bad at detecting in this game. Like I feel like it doesn't match. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then three very quickly close together. Five. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened, Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my... Intuition can my break cases by enhancing at a yes, location officer, to detect clues and evidence. Nice. Those will be marked on the map, making them easier to find. I don't know if these are actually. Incidental. No. The doggo. We have the murder weapon. And the murder. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfield. That's a couple of blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. Let's hit it. I swear this town is going straight to hell. Thinking what I'm thinking? Go to the jewelry store. <laughs> so loud. What'd you say? <laughs> It's only during the gameplay, during the cutscenes, it gets quiet. It's so weird. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? <laughs> uh, no, uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Yeah, you thought. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Run towards the obstacle to scale it.
Not today, boy. There he is, officer. What? Take it. Too late, Kalu. Stop, or I will shoot. Oh, that's how that works. Did you just shoot a warning shot into a tree? Yes, I did, and I just did right there too. Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. That smile. In the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what ifs, the might have beens, the half leads, and the half truths. The real copper now. The case that other cops murmur about whenever <laughs> you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. <laughs> I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. I'll do my best. <laughs> Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Using with incorrect evidence, blah, blah, blah. Okay. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Can lead, careful use of intuition can lead to breakthroughs. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Oh, yeah? What about uh, this person who positively identified you? We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? <laughs> you think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. Aha. Uh -huh. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Doubt or lie? Uh, I'm gonna use intuition. He's lying. Ah, oh, shoot.
Oops. Ask the community. Statistics on how other de detectives approached. Lie. Lying, Kalu. I think you lent Gage money. And he owed you payment. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 because of the voucher. I'm done with you. Incorrect. Go flap your gum somewhere else. I want my lawyer. <laughs> no! I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. You disappoint me, Cole Phillips. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! Jesus. Holy crap, dude. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. Wait, did we retry? Shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Argument with Gage? You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Yeah, I guess you get a redo. Why? You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. We know all about the argument. <laughs> Just the like real life. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Lie. You're lying, Kalu. I think you lent Gage money, and he owed you payment. I don't know what you're talking about. See, uh, it doesn't make any sense because he brings that up. I'm dumb. Incorrect. Go flap your gums. I guess you have to doubt it. Somewhere else. I want my lawyer. I've just got to keep my mouth so shut lost. and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. Did we? You disappoint me, cold folks. Get back in Get there. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy. I need a confession. God damn. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Hey, hey, hey. View evidence. Fatal sidewalk. Layway received her pearl made out of Banco to go okay. Browning. Like, should I use the Browning handgun as the observed suspect? You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. He's blinking a lot. Lie. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Well, actually, suspect I identified you. about the argument. Ms. Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. All right, let's so change possible subject. religious motive. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. 
This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Is the correct answer after using intuition point on this question? How do I? It won't let me. Oh. Doubt. Doubt is the right one. You left wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher! You and that stump Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake. The jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. <laughs> Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. Ah, yes. It After is just th Officer Phelps. There are times to charm, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face yeah, that right. admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. I guess they're uh, having somebody else do that then. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Oh boy, we're rising up. Rising up in the ranks. Past. Your actions have earned you a promotion. Prepare for reassignment. Hell yeah. The driver's seat. Looking fresh in the new suit. Whoa, you almost Here's your new right desk, kid. Me. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here <laughs> next to the <laughs> you map. made it. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. Ooh. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with That's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, everybody. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. You really gave it to those lousy <laughs> Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why you war heroes always so modest? I've partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. 
Stick with Vikowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm going to start you out with one case. Do okay. I'll give you a 44 more. had 101 homicides. 45 had 91. Plates. 46 had 116. Post, sixth in Alameda. Patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. I can see that. Foul play. See what you can find out. Come I 100% see that. Got a stakeout down on second later tonight. <laughs> All right. What's the plan? They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. I don't care. I don't go in for letting gangsters off scot free. The guy gave his wife a tap. Say all's fair in love and war. And Harry says that same. Only if I guarantee he walks. Uh, there we go. Speaks. Isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know this place? Sure. Get from the old gas works and signal. You can get a bunch of redos. True. I'll direct. So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Kelsey? We can work together, don't be so touchy. Grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Went to college at Stanford for two years, ROTC before Marine OCS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as the first lieutenant and brought the Okinawa. I was wounded, shipped back home. Had a year on the beat. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No. You were up there all night. Draped in the flag. Knife between your teeth. Gun at the ready. Finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Mikowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah. Now I get it. Unfit for service. Fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda ride. All units of 459 just occurred at 6th and Saras. Any unit to handle, code 2 identified. 11K, go ahead, KGPL. 11K. Masked gunman. Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. Subdue the suspect. Give it up now. Make it easy on yourself. Get the hell away from me. I'm running. Is somebody gonna tell us what the hell is going on? <laughs> Come on, Flatfoot. Let's negotiate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Put the weapon down now. Oof. Who's looking to die today? Cop on every corner. Uh, where it's a retired Navy SEAL, you take a hostage, you need to die. Turn on the siren!
That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. Oh, shit. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and... We'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. Uh, I put I played it back in the day, so I I this was one of my favorite games a long time ago. Um, it's different replaying it though. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned it's car. been so long stolen. since I played the it too. Solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He so I don't really in. remember much. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. Yeah, exactly. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Nice day for it. How long are you gonna keep me here, sir? One for the file. Find and inspect a clear as the LAB. Looks to lost a lot of blood. Damn. How's the world looking? Ah, always the same through a viewfinder. How about you? I got a mystery sample waiting at the lab. Practicing over the contaminated soil. Thirty-two years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Happier times, I guess. Hmm. Wait. Can we flip it over? No. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. Let's talk with this guy now. I've got half an hour to spend on this thing. The lab are short staffed downtown. How's life treating you? Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Uh, observe the suspect. You know, my nephew joined the police, and he's a little slow, too. <laughs> Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Looks like he's telling the truth. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regularly, so it kind of stood out. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister?
checked out. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Rookie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Thank you for your patience, Mr. Wilkie. If you don't mind waiting a little longer, I'm sure we'll have more questions once we've had a look around. I completely missed this. A murder weapon. Brand name might give us something to go on. You see his hat? It just screams murder. <laughs> Where's the body at? You guys take your time. No freight rolling through here till we're done. And we're still punching the clock. <laughs> Get back here, Phelps. We're not done yet. I'm coming. Keep searching. Through. Oh. What, do you, what do you got? Do you have any info? What do you think? Check the whole area, detective. Assume everything's a potential lead. I don't really see anything else. What now? There's lots to look at here, Hotshot. Put those intense eyes of yours to use. Doc? Detective Phelps. What have we got? A lot of blood for a blood force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. Huh. Over here, Phelps. Trunk is unlocked. Better take a look at it. Circumstantial. Okay, nothing. Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday. What's he doing with that? Hey. I'm stumped. Ideas? Have a word with the witness. It's not often we get eyeballs in a case like this. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. True. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact you. All right. We need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. If you're done here, we'll head over there now. Yep. Let's do it. Let's let her know. Hold E next to a vehicle to make your partner drive. <laughs> Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? Life insurance fraud. Oh no, we'll, we'll skip to your destination. Nice. I forgot about that feature. Eleven fourteen a.m. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Just a minute. She doing in there? LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln. Did you see that necktie? <laughs> That's correct. Does look very suspicious. And Screams murder. No signs of foul play. <laughs> I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh no! 
My poor Adrian. Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Ah. Uh. Yeah, this guy again. Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. So, your friend of court. <laughs> Yes, doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. I want to take you on a journey, a journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past, the occasions that made you laugh, the times that made you smile. Lighters. Kavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. Have a good look around. There's gotta be something. Can assist you with the contact R and I by telephone or game wall. Oops. Telephone right here. Operator, give me dispatch. Jeez. <laughs> Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt. Ah, so it's the original Google. Thanks, ma'am. <laughs> Had a rotary phone in their house when I was a kid. Really? Jeez. It was... This was only recently installed. Not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. Very suspicious. It doesn't appear to be connected. It doesn't tell me anything. Hmm. <laughs> right. Another one. 